Google on Friday released a web form that allows Europeans to ask for certain information to be removed from them from search results. So it will be links that show up when people search for their name, their individual name. The web form asks for what you want removed, why you want it removed, and for a piece of ID to make sure that you are the person that you say you are. So you can only ask for information to be taken down if it's search results for you. It's unclear right now how Google is going to decide whether to approve requests or not. Basically, the general idea is that if information is too old or outdated, out of date, that's going to be grounds for removal um, based on the court ruling from the European Court of Justice. That's the highest court in Europe. But until we start seeing Google making these decisions, uh, it's not clear exactly what they're going to approve, what they're not going to approve. The easiest way for them to do it would just be to approve all requests to take information down. But that would kind of go contrary to their stated mission of organizing all the world's information and making it easily available to the public. Google have also formed a committee, people like Jimmy Wells of Wikipedia, to help guide them through this thorny issue. Uh, it's unclear if they're going to really abide by the committee's report, which is out in early 2015, but at least they've gotten a group together to help them think through some of these issues. So if you're a European and you ask for data to be taken down and Google says no, you can appeal to your country's watchdog for data. And that then the watchdog in that particular country will have to make a decision about whether the public has a right to know that particular information about you or whether your personal privacy is more important. The ruling from the European Court of Justice obviously applies to Google and other search providers, but there's a question. What's a search provider? You can search Twitter. Does that mean Twitter is a search provider? You can search a lot of websites if they just have a little search box. Does that mean they're a search provider? So it really remains to be seen exactly who is covered by this ruling.